Dirt Trust here with Comedians for Change. How is everyone? I'm at the beach. It's great, it's a beautiful day in Santa Barbara like usual. This video is about the future. It's part of the passion videos. Let's take a few minutes and think about your future. Look at what you're doing now. Doing whatever you're doing. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. Analyze everything you're doing. What you do every day. Where a lot of your time goes. Who you hang out with and how much you hang out with them. What you do when you hang out with them. What you do for fun, as a hobby. Do you make money? How do you make your money? How long are you planning on making your money through that for? Forever? For 10 years? Until you do something else? So look at everything right now. And then when you get a chance, go on, if you have a Facebook or a MySpace or whatever, go on that and just take a look at yourself. Look at you. Look at the pictures you choose to post. Look at your profile picture. Look at what you've written about yourself. Look at you know, the media you have, the info you have on there, your friends. Just take a quick glance over it. Doesn't matter how old you are or where you're at in life. Now think about what you're passionate about and what you plan on or want to do in the future of your life how you want to make money, where you want to live, kind of things you want to have. Think about those things. Looking over your Facebook and what you do every day and what you spend your time on and if you did all of that, let's say you just kept on going that route, the job, everything. Fast forward 10 years. I'm gonna ask you to be honest with yourself. It won't help you or anyone to you know, not be honest with yourself. Do you see, with the way you're living your life and everything, do you see if you continued on the way you're going every day for 10 years, cancel out the possibility of winning the lottery, inheriting money from your family, yeah, winning massive amount of money, or uh, having an angel investor knock on your door one day and say, hi, I heard you like, uh, I want to give you 20 mil to do that because I think you're going to be the next Albert Einstein. So let's cancel those three things out. Now I want you to ask yourself, with that said, with everything we've done, this exercise, in 10 years, fast forward, are you where you want to be? Honestly, do you see realistically any way where something dramatic is going to change and in 10 years you're going to have what you want. Think about that. The answer is no. I'm not going to be where I want to be in 10 years at 30, 40, 50, 60 years old. Then you're going to have to obviously change things, change habits and start doing something. Start figuring it out. And so if it's inevitable that you got to figure it out, why wait? Why wait till high school's over? Why wait till college is over? Why wait till you're a certain age? Why wait till you're a man? Don't wait. Don't wait. You know, it might seem hard. Don't overwhelm yourself by saying, oh, I gotta do all these big things to do that, Jared. No, you don't. Just start really small. Little tiny steps. Making action lists, planning out your day. Extremely successful people they make a to-do list for tomorrow, the next day, every night before they go to bed. They stick to it and they cross stuff off. To-do list, action list, cross stuff off, cross stuff off. Put three things down and just do those things. Just that will help you to get where you wanna be in 10 years. And trust me, when you hit 30, I'm 29, you're gonna say, <laughs> you're going to say, I wish I had started younger. I wish I had known what I know now younger because I would have done more younger because things take time. I know if you're watching these videos, if you've been led to these videos, you're passionate about your future. You're passionate about success. You want great things. So if you want that, then start today. Take 10 minutes today. Make an action list for today and tomorrow, okay? and start just doing little things. Yourself, 
you know, better communication, better habits, starting some creative projects. Starting one creative project and finishing it and focusing on it. Not starting 10 things, one. Look at that beach, isn't that just, just ridiculous? That way you could go to the beach every single day, right? All right.